To be perfectly honest, I think this is a terrible idea. Everyone agreed to leave things as they were. I will as much as I can. But from what Rutland said, I'm sure there's a clue down there about what killed my mother. I have to go back. There's no use trying to enter at the same point. It's caved in. The river had to get in there somehow. I'll leave you to figure out the how. I can't go down there. I'm sorry. It's fine, really. If there's any trouble, call Zip and he'll patch you through. Don't take any chances. I'm not losing any more of my friends. So, how are you getting in? The same way as the water, I hope. If you get a call from Anaya, patch her through straight away. I'm a little concerned about leaving her by herself. I'll keep her company. was Amanda's. High tops don't fall off your feet that easy. It's been unlaced. I never imagined she could have survived. There was a lot of water. She still might not have. It tells the story of the last queen of Tiwanaku. Her father was king, but she was lost and raised by a warrior. She became queen after a shaman named Tunupa discovered her royal heritage. Tunupa is another name for Viracocha, their god of creation. The shaman brought her to Lake Titicaca, where she borrowed his staff, an object of great power. According to myth, Viracocha originally lived in the lake. The god of indoor plumbing. She led her people into an era of peace. After many years of wise and just rule, there was some sort of power struggle. She died shortly thereafter, and she was carried off in a boat to paradise. Remind you of something? The King Arthur myth. Yes, the similarities are striking. King Arthur? A little help here? It's the same story. A youth, unaware of his royal blood, rises from obscurity to become a wise king with the help of a friendly wizard and his magical staff or sword. And afterwards, he's transported to paradise. Many cultures share similar legends. The Great Flood, for example. Everyone's got that one, too. You could be right. Oh, I like that one. It was nice, but it 
was in the way. is me. set into it, or in this case, Viticulture's staff. This is it. Do you believe it's the same one we saw in Tuanaku? There's more than just one Deus, but possibly. So the shaman would be Merlin, and the staff would be whatever the hell King Arthur's sword was called. It's called Coincidence. <laughs> Funny name for a sword. Beautiful. We were so close before. So close. Wonderful, Lara. Do you notice anything familiar about her sword? That's what Rutland was holding. Except this is just a ceremonial copy. And what do we have here? The tip has broken off. My God. I had no idea it looked like this. I've seen this before at Waseda University in Japan. But I didn't know it had anything to do with these artifacts. Yeah, I'll get a hold of them right now. It's not there anymore. It was stolen by Shogo Takamoto. Takamoto? Yakuza has nothing to mess with Lara. I don't care, Zip. I want that piece. Arrange a meeting. Okay, but... Hang on. I got Anaya calling on her cell. I'm patching her through. Lara! Lara, can you hear me? Those bastards from town are here, and they're coming down after you. Well, this is a tomb. I'll make them feel at home. <laughs> 